In this lesson, we will first learn to add the entries in glossary as a student, and then approve them as a teacher. So, first switch to Google Chrome. In the last lesson, we have added a glossary named Abbreviations in Glossary. Now we will add entries to it as student and then approve those entries as teacher. Notice that we are logged in as student1. Click Abbreviations and Glossary to open the glossary page. Then click Add an Entry link to add a new entry. In the concept box, enter the word Autotrophic. Enter its definition, as shown. Then, under Auto Linking Area, check this entry should be automatically linked. Click Save Changes. The entry has been added in the glossary. Now, to add another entry, again click Add New Entry Link. Enter Continuous as Concept and Definition as shown in the present slide. Click Save Changes. Now that we have added two entries to the glossary, but both of them are currently hidden. To show these entries, teacher's approval is required. Now switch to Firefox and log in as admin user to approve the glossary entries. Note that now we are logged in as admin user. On the abbreviations and glossary page, click on the link, waiting approval. Then, click on the big right mark besides the glossary entries to approve them. Now, all entries have been approved. Click on the Activity, Abbreviations and Glossary in the navigation bar. Now, after approving the student entries, you can see all the entries added by teacher and students. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.